This video is the accompanying material for our submission, namely STD trees, spatiotemporal deformable trees for multirotors kinodynamic planning. Standalone sampling-based kinodynamic planners converge very slowly due to the difficulty of sampling states exactly near the optimal solution. We propose to improve the convergence by incorporating local optimization. In the process of tree growing, the edges are deformed spatially and temporally, and the overall tree quality is improved without adding more samples. Thus, the convergence is accelerated based on a better organized tree structure. We propose to deform in forms of deformation units. Each unit consists of one node and all the edges connecting it. We minimize the cost to come values of the node and all its descendant node by optimizing only the node state and the time duration of the connecting edges. Here is the visualization of deforming one deformation unit each time in the process of tree growing. The deforming produces a smoother tree without adding more samples. To compare and balance different optimization levels and computation burden, we propose four kinds of variants of deformation, namely node, trunk, branch, and tree. Node means optimizing only one deformation unit, which contains node N and the edges connecting it. Trunk optimizes several deformation units, and the units are selected by following parent pointers from node N up to a child node of node start. Branch optimizes every nodes and edges in the subtree rooted at node N. All the leaf nodes are excluded. Tree optimizes every node and edge in the entire tree except the start node and all the leaf nodes. Here is the visualization of deforming by variant branch. The four variants are compared with each other and with a search-based kinodynamic planner, weighted A star. All the variants find the first solution within several milliseconds and quickly converge. Variant branch shows the fastest convergence. We think it is because a new sample brings potential improvements mostly on the subtree, while other tree parts are less likely influenced, and thus deforming just the subtree is a good balance. We then incorporate the deformation with different RRT family kinodynamic planners. Spatiotemporal deformation and spatial-only deformation both accelerate the convergence evidently. The proposed spatiotemporal deformation further outperforms the spatial-only deforming. Here visualizes the tree growing process and shows the improvements on convergence after incorporating the proposed deformation. The play speed is four times slower. Let's watch it again in a normal speed. Given a three second time budget, planning with spatiotemporal deformation generates a solution with much lower cost and much shorter trajectory duration. The spatial only deforming smoothens the trajectory but cannot improve time. And that's all, thanks for your time.